So we're going to talk about the future of games. And we should start from the beginning, from getting into the industry. Mm. So as tools are getting better and easier to use and more accessible, uh, what are the trends to look out for like, if you're trying to get into the industry in the next 10 years? I guess that, that, that getting to the industry, there is many ways to do that. If, if you are a young guy or girl who wants to get to the industry, there is many ways you can get to the industry. You can go to the game education, you can go to the as investment, you can go to the game champs and find like-minded people on game champs. You can join IGDA as a volunteer and get into contact with the, with the, uh, with the game developers network and that kind of stuff. Uh, but getting to the games industry is, I would say that it's, it's not easy in a way that is uh, relatively easy to develop games as a hobby because as you mentioned there is a very good tool for that uh, at the moment but if you want to make games as a profession it should be consider considered as a profession it's a, it's a job it's a job and for a job you need certain skills and certain qualities to be qualified as, as, as a game developer to a game developer company so in that sense uh, game development is at the moment uh, it's still fun. It's still fun, and people like to do it. Uh, but but it's still oh, it's also a job which you, you should consider uh, as a, as, a, as a job. Well, when it comes to um, getting into the industry, when it, what what Cop just definitely these are some of the most common kind of channels or what the ways how you how you can approach. But I would say first start with yourself. What is exactly what you want to do? Because uh, mm -hmm. game industry. And game development, all in all, is multidisciplinary approach in every single game. So uh, when you think about games that are not necessarily uh, entertainment, but also edu and uh, serious stuff, and also the, let's say, history-based games. So, so you need knowledge outside of just coding, which mostly it's thought to be uh, tech-based, you know, like background. And so, no, you need variety of expertise in the development. And that's why, like, you, if you want to start... Uh, uh, be part of the industry as, as a professional first of all see what would be your role there what is exactly what you're into are you into art tech uh, design uh, level design different there are so many different uh, things you can do um, and uh, well, producer leading the team like what what do you want to do and from there you see what skill set you might need to improve because if you need to go to certain education or you need to maybe mm -hmm. get some mentor or advisor from the industry. So, so because industry, at least here in Finland, I must say, is a, a very open uh, to everyone. So basically, if someone has any question, just come and kind of talk. That's why also IGDA gatherings are mostly like, it's, it's networking. You, you talk to each other and you figure out, like, we share all the bads and all the goods. And uh, there's lots of bads. Also, <laughs> so I, I'm sorry, I can't stop them. But, but we share it. And... Uh, so, so from at least these experiences, then we can, uh, you know, like you can or others can learn or see which way uh, they want to proceed. And, and of course, well, the game jams what was mentioned uh, is like well, uh, like well, you know, one weekend of like prototyping games uh, gives you skills of how to work uh, as a team, uh, how to work, you know, on your specific specific field, or you can try like different things, like you know, Coro can be a graphic artist and musician and. and Whatever, uh, many many things. But I like the industry. One one is that uh, this is like creative industry, but this is still like like tech industry, and you know combining all those like you know best of both worlds. I would say. Mm -hmm.